Okay, y'all need to see what just happened. <laughs> I'm just like, <gasps> freak out. <laughs> okay, I'm freaking out, guys. This is crazy. You see right here on this? I'm taking this. There's a computer right there. I'm going to take this. This is the video I just made. It's going up on YouTube right now. I just made this video. Let me show you my desktop so you understand what it says. Okay, so let me, uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? I'll drop this down. You can see Psalm 68 right here. Psalm 68, which is on the, the video that's going up right now. You, you'll already have watched this. Let me show you my, what was my desktop for the last video. Let me move up, let me move up my, uh, recording screen a little bit. So I want you to see, like, so special project. So I had this. You'll, you'll see that in the video a little bit. You'll see, you'll see this order, Psalm 68. And then this is, uh, Max McLean reading Psalm 68, which is in the video. And then you'll see the David Bowie, uh, Edios, where he did the Omicron thing about finding the serial killer, where they were, he was mocking you by leaving the word up. That's the only way you find the serial killer. And then uh, there, you'll see this 195, 436 from, a trailer called Don't Look Up right here. That's in the video. You, you, you've already watched the video. Probably then you'll see Strong's Greek 199, which means uh, exactly, distinctly, very precisely to the fine, to down to the fine de details. And then you'll see this word 436 right here in the video. You just probably already watched the video. I said against, I withstand, resist, oppose. It means to take a complete stand against, which is what the Lord told me to take a complete stand against James's channel and all the brood of vipers that are gathering there. That's what the Lord told me to do, and I'm doing it. Um, that's all. So that's all on this. On this is the desktop I'm showing you. I already recorded a video, and it is. Let's see. Let's see if I can go to this studio, and it's on this jump drive. I'm getting ready to loaded up so it's yeah here it is watch this you can see it in the thing it's i think video number 32 like right up there okay i just want to prove to you so you can see i could i couldn't have fudged what you're about to see right now so that's my desktop i just did this video i'm going over there to load it up on youtube for you guys but while it's rendering i heard the lord say click on this link and it's you know thumbnails like uh youtube link so I look over now, watch this. You see it says, Forrest Gump praying for shrimp? Well, let me, I'm going to hit the back button. Look right here. I'm going to go to the scene right before it. Okay, see it says, collect Psalm 68. This is in the video you just watched. If, if you just watched the video that's on this that I'm going to load up right now. Okay, you that that scene right there from the car where I'm I'm recording what happened with Zach and Corey and, and myself on Psalm 68. You can see that's all part of my desktop. Now watch this. Just watch. Watch this. So this was on my desktop, Psalm 68. You can see it right here. And then over here on the sidelines, you see it says like all these different thumbnails for different things. See, it says Forrest Gump praying for shrimp. I heard, I was just looking like waiting for the video to render. And I went like this and I heard the Lord say, click on this. So watch, I'll prove it. Look, see the button right here? Okay. Now, watch this. Now, if you've watched the video that's on here that's going on YouTube right now, and this is you watching this video after this, <laughs> I'm going to freak out. Ready? Listen. Listen. I'll turn the volume all the way up. Listen. No shrimp. No shrimp. Where the hell is this god of yours? It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that, because right then, God showed up. I'm going to pause it. This entire video, I'm telling you that the Lord's telling me, stand against these people, Gene Revel and Kathy and Karen, Jim and all the people that have been running their mouths for the last year. The Lord told me stand against uh, James Supplanter that's teaching heresy in the Word. So I did what he said, and I've done two videos on it. 
I'm out here doing this other video right now about Psalm 68 and how the Lord showed it to us that he's coming to destroy his enemies. He's coming to deal with, you know, the unrighteous. So I just, that's what's on this thing. I'm going over there and load it up right now. And now I'm doing this video right now. What do you think the odds are that I'm talking about the Lord keeps saying, pay attention, look up. Don't listen to these people that are saying you're not supposed to be waiting for them. Heck yeah, you're supposed to be waiting for them. What do you think the odds are that I click on a thing that says praying for shrimp? And it says, well, where's this God of yours for us? And it says, well, funny you should say that right then. God showed up. Watch the very end of this clip where Lieutenant Dan is at total peace and he's swimming out in the ocean with the cloud behind him. Just watch the whole video. Tell me, tell me how impossible this is. Tell me this is not a miracle. <laughs> watch this. Here you go one more time. No shrimp. Where the hell is this god of yours? It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that, because right then, God showed up. What? Now me, I was scared, but Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. Come on! You call this a storm? Oh, you son of a f oh! It's time for a showdown! You and me! I'm right here! Get me! <laughs> you never seen this phone! <laughs> Carmen came through here yesterday, destroying nearly everything in its path. And as in other towns up and down the coast, BioLabattery's entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen and has been left in utter ruin. Speaking with local officials, this reporter has learned, in fact, only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. Louise! Louise, that's forced! After that, <laughs> shrimping was easy. Since people still <laughs> needed them shrimps for shrimp cocktails and barbecues and all, and we were the only boat left standing. Bubba got shrimps what they got. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of boats, 12 jennies, big old warehouse. We even have hats that say Bubba Gump on them. Bubba Gump shrimp. It's a household name. Hold on there, boy. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> Boy, I heard some whoppers in my time, but that tops them all. <laughs> we were sitting next to a millionaire. <laughs> well, I thought it was a very lovely story. And you tell it so well with such enthusiasm. <laughs> Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Well, yes, I would. That's him right there. <laughs> and let me tell you something about Lieutenant Dan. Oh, uh, here you go. I never thanked you for saving my life. I want to pause it. I want you to look right here, right on his headband. See it? I've known for a long time that the enemy likes to mock us. And they put, you know, like Paisley's exact opposite directions right on his forehead. Look. Isn't that fascinating? Look right there. See it? Everything's by design, guys. He never actually said so, but I think he made his peace with God. 
Okay, so his purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Isn't it crazy? He had the exact symbology right between his eyes on his forehead. Isn't it crazy, you guys, that the Lord God had me click on that out of everything? That's the only thing I clicked on. <laughs> That's how you know the Lord is the one that's running me. And the people that have come up with their hatred. I watched the last year, the hatred coming from this. His name's not Gene Revel. He's too much of a coward to put his picture out there. Put your picture out there, Gene. Like I do. Let us see your face. Quit being a coward and hiding behind your mommy's skirt. <laughs> Whatever. The Lord God whom I serve, I believe, has spoken so clearly in the past day. If you can't recognize what he's telling you, you're certainly not one of us. But there's obviously a division that's happening right now. It's here. The division is here. But the Lord told me to stand boldly against you know the Bible says, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord. You know what the word witnesses is? To stand boldly against. And I do. I stand boldly against Satan and all of his followers. I'm calling you out, Gene. That's right. All of y'all. Calling y'all out. Okay, so y'all have said from the Gene Rebel channel, Jonathan Kleck is a false prophet, so you're saying I serve Satan. But that same person right here that you're talking about has laid hands on blind people, terminally ill people, Karen Sullivan being one of them. But the Lord's taking back his blessings from her and her entire family. That's what he told me. I guarantee that's what he told me. So is someone saying, oh, you're promising. No, I'm not. I'm saying those are, those are the words the Lord told me, gave me. So there it is. We'll see what happens, huh? So either the Vatican's not a snake, hieroglyph of Akhenaten Nefertiti is not a serpent race eating a sheep race, that card my wife gave me is not a serpent eating a sheep, that uh, poster by Marcel is not, or that piece of wood by Marcel, then there's not a serpent eating a sheep on it. Alex drew the picture of me from Starbucks, that's not a dead sheep behind my ear. Okay. Ian Bud Light commercial, everybody here is a twin. Okay, then all that's wrong and y'all are right. Okay, I'm content with that. And if, if that's it, then I deserve to go to hell. I do. I deserve it. I should be cast into hell if I'm a false prophet. But the other side of that coin is if y'all have spoke and called me a false prophet and I'm not, then y'all should go into eternal destruction and hell. I mean, that's the way it should be, right? Because one of us isn't right. Either the person that's been laying hands on the blind and healing the sick, restoring sight to the blind, either he's right or y'all are right. End of the story. That's it. And nobody has to do anything to prove anything. God will do it himself. End the story. I love everybody in Christ. I believe my job here it looks like it's pretty, pretty done. It just looks that way. I'll be here until the end, though, no matter what. Even if it's six months down the road, I don't care. If you can't see the Lord speaking right now, then you just can't see him. The Bible says in, in Ephesians, I'm sorry, the Bible says in Matthew 13. Um, got a few, I've got Ephesians on my shirt. <laughs> Matthew 13. Uh, why, did, why dost thou speak to them in parables? He says, because seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, and they will not. Turn to me and let me heal them. And that's that whole group over at Gene Rebel. And I feel sorry for you guys. I truly do. As a matter of fact, if the Lord showed me there was some... If I could suffer and go through some just very long-suffering ordeal to help y'all not have to go to where y'all are probably going to go, I would do what the Lord said to help you. I would. In fact, I don't want anyone to go there. But the weird thing is, over at Gene's channel, they want bad to happen to me. Who starts a, a channel called Jonathan Cluck without being hostile and cruel? Nobody. That's just hateful. It's me, which is your spirit. Now,
I never thanked you for saving my life. He never actually said so, but I think he made his peace with God. And I can tell you this, I made my peace with God in 2002, and that's when he called me as a servant. That's why I have Ephesians 2 on my shirt. He's the Prince of Peace, not the Prince of Pain. Okay. I love you guys in Christ. Specific message to James. James, I love you in Christ. You seem like a nice guy. I like your kind spirit. There's there's a kindness in you, but even though there is, the Lord has told me to stand against you. I pray that you receive it. Don't fall into what's going on behind you with the cheerleaders from the serpent brood. Stay away from them, James, if you will. Okay? All right, guys. Peace and, bread. Peace and grace.